Gina, I need to talk to you about my mom's funeral. Oh, sure, Anton. I just heard from your dad. We'll all be meeting up for drinks on Thursday the 5th, and the funeral itself is on Friday, right? Yeah, that's right. Apparently we got pushed back a day because they're having some technical problems at the funeral parlor. So we're just going to go for drinks on the 5th instead. Right. It's also the busiest time of year for them right now, and I heard you sometimes have to wait over a week, so I guess we should count ourselves lucky they managed to fit us in the next day. So anyway, as for what I messaged you about, Sorry, babe, but I'll be going to work today. Huh? Work? I thought today was the start of your condolence leave. I thought you got a full week off for a parent. I do. But I got a call from the hospital mom was staying at while I was at work and had to rush off in a panic. I had to drop a particularly troublesome project I've been trying to get completed for ages. And now the office is in chaos with everyone trying to pick up the pieces. I didn't find anyone to take over for me, so I'm worried about how they're going to cope since everyone already has their own stuff to deal with. I'll never be able to have peace of mind with the thought of them all rushing around and having their schedules messed up on my behalf. So I'm going to dash over and take care of it. Which means, and I'm sorry about this babe, but I think I'll be sleeping at the office tonight. I see. I'll be home tomorrow night. I feel bad asking, but would you mind taking care of my pops in the house while I'm away? I see. I guess you are in a difficult spot, and it's only natural you'd want to get back on top of everything to save your coworkers the trouble. I think your work ethic and sense of duty to your company are admirable. I'm really sorry about the timing here, babe. I know it sucks, but we do have a little time before the funeral, and... I seriously need to get this handled as soon as possible so things can get back to normal for everyone at the office and I can get a good night's sleep again. Yeah, I get it. All right. Gina, Gina, Gina! Long time no see, girl! It's me, Nina! Do you remember me? Huh? Nina? 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 Oh! By any chance, is this the Nina from my class in high school? Bingo! Anyway, let's get down to business. Tell me, Gina, where do you think I am right now? I'm sorry, Nina, but I, I don't have time to be messaging right now. I'll get in touch when things have settled down, okay? Ooh, get you, little Miss Diva. Looks like someone's in a grouch. No, it's not like that. Looks like I have no choice. Hey, Gina, it must really suck for you, huh? I can't believe it's your husband's day off, but he didn't even stay home to spend time with you. Day off? Sure, it's technically his day off. We don't have the luxury of spending time together right now. We're going through a difficult time. Ah, I see. Uh, does that mean you saw this coming? Me stealing your husband Anton from you, that is. <laughs> huh? So, back to where we just left off. Where do you think I am right now, Gina? Go on. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. I don't know, and I don't care. Jeez, you're no fun. Whatever, so be it. The truth is, I'm with Anton in the luxury hot spa resort in Gregsby Town. Quit joking around. I'm not in the mood. You wish I was joking. What the hell is this? We've been dating for a whole two years now. I think it's going to be time for us to tie the knot soon. Yes, yes, yes. My big dream wedding is going to be amazing. Two years? Does that mean you've had your claws in him ever since we started caring for his mom? You need to hurry up and divorce him so I can have him all to myself. Why would you be doing this now of all times? Listen to me, girl, and listen good. You think you're such hot shit, don't you? Did you think I forgot what a teacher's pet you were in school? You had no right to be getting grades that good despite coming from a single mother household. You even got into the best college in the state, and on a scholarship with a tuition fees exemption, no less. Ugh. It makes my blood boil just thinking about it. 
How can there be so much injustice in the world? You make me sick, you disgusting freeloader. Wait, is this why you... And that's not all. Anton's mom and dad were fiercely against the wedding when they found out you were raised by a single mom, weren't they? No, that was only his mom, actually. Sure, she might have been opposed to us being together, but his dad and little brother were perfectly fine with it. And actually, they were super supportive. We ended up going ahead with it in the end after Anton persuaded his mom to give us the go-ahead. Yep, I know. I didn't ask for an explanation, sweetie. You see, I already know the intimate details of your private life. Apparently, she only agreed to let you marry when he told her that you, coming from a broken family, meant you'd have nowhere to escape to, so she could treat you like her own personal slave. Did you know that's how Anton talks about you behind your back? Huh? Wait, what? Your mom got on board when she heard that, which is the only reason she finally agreed to the marriage. Didn't you think it was strange how she changed her mind all of a sudden? What is this? If you don't believe me, how about I send you the chat logs? I keep them in a special folder I check whenever I'm feeling bored and need to laugh. I see. I would like to confirm all this now, but I'm incredibly busy and it's not a good time. Listen, Nina, if you want me to divorce him, you're going to need to send me a hell of a lot more proof than just a picture. Sure, I can do that. My family is rich, so if you charge us for compensation, we'll barely even notice. My mommy and daddy will be happy to pay any amount of money if it means securing their precious daughter's happiness. So what's evidence you want, huh? All right, prepare to receive mountains of the stuff. You're probably going to want to start crying when you see what I'm about to send, so be sure to take regular breaks in between looking and taking deep, big breaths. Hey, Gina. You announced you were divorcing me at my mom's frickin' funeral? What the hell's gotten into you? I can't believe you shoved a set of divorce papers in my face and stormed out of the church while I was mourning my dead mom. I got quizzed and interrogated by my entire goddamn family because of you. Do you know how much embarrassment you've caused me? This is the most senseless, ridiculous, absurd thing I've ever heard of. If I'm absurd, then what are you? Excuse me? What have I done that's absurd? How about you ask your girlfriend about it? You are just as bad as each other. My girlfriend? Nina Jenkins. What? I know all about how you guys met after you approached her at a bar, but apparently you didn't know she was my classmate back in high school. Seriously? W wait, but how do you know any of this? She exposed your relationship to me herself. Tell me, Anton, when do you think she told me? It was the night of the first day of your condolence leave, when you told me you were going to the office. What? A luxury hot spa resort, huh? You must have been really broken up about your mom. Congrats, Anton. You just won the grand prize for being the world's biggest scumbag. I mean, please. Using your condolence leave to go on a seedy vacation with your lover behind your wife's back? Are you really in any position to say I'm acting senselessly? Gina, well, I... Uh... Well, Nina seemed so excited when she pitched the plan for the vacation to me that I couldn't refuse. Really? Because based on what she told me, you offered to pay for the whole thing. Also, she thought it was just a regular vacation and didn't know anything about your mom. Huh? I don't know if it's because Nina's never had a single job in her life, but she didn't know what condolence leave meant when I told her the situation. Wow, really? I'm sure you can imagine how surprised I was to get a slew of gloating messages from your pea-brained lover about how she'd stolen you from me while I was making preparations for your mom's funeral and you pretended to be at work. You're reaching levels of absurdity previously thought impossible here, Anton. I guess trying to steal another woman's husband is pretty absurd in and of itself. I couldn't decide whether you were both as bad as each other. Um... 
But when I stopped to think about it, I figured the guy who used his condolence leave to mourn his dead mother as an opportunity to go on a lover's hot spa retreat absolutely had to take the prize. You may have been cheating on me, and Princess Nina may have come at you all of a sudden begging for a vacation, but I might have actually been able to maintain the tiniest morsel of respect for you if you'd offered to reschedule for a later date, or just said no because you were mourning your mom. The fact that you still chose your lover's vacation in spite of everything you had going on shows me that you truly are a heartless lowlife with zero redeeming qualities. And that's the mild version of what I think you are. Believe me, I could say so much more, but then I figure, what's the point? It won't change anything, and you're not worth the energy. Ah, just shut up, woman. This ain't fair. You can't go pinning this all on me. You've done your fair share of wrong, too. You got up and stormed out like a little kid having a tantrum in the middle of my mom's frickin' funeral. I mean, seriously, shoving a set of divorce papers in my face in front of all those people? What in the heck do you think you're playing at? Surely you could have waited until after the funeral. Why did you have to go and embarrass me in front of everyone I know like that? You got some nerve to spit on my mom's memory by turning her funeral into an episode of Jerry Springer and then act like you're some righteous hero of justice and I'm the one in the wrong. Right. Normally what I did would be downright unacceptable. But you see, Anton, your dad gave me his permission to do what I did at the funeral. What? My dad? Listen, your lover, Nina, tried to barge her way into our house this morning. She did what now? You didn't tell her about your mom, so she had no idea how busy I was with the funeral arrangements. She was so disappointed at how weak my reaction to finding out about the affair was after she'd been waiting so long in excitement to tell me about it. Between feeling let down by how few craps I gave about her and the fact that you hadn't been answering her calls and responding slowly to her messages lately... She reached her wit's end, flipped out, and drove over to the house in a rage. Her anger turned to confusion when she let herself in by the front door, only to find your dad sobbing alone in his morning clothes, holding a photo of your mother in the kitchen. That's when the reality of the situation sunk in. My dad. Your dad's always had good instincts. Figuring something fishy was going on instead of calling you, he called me immediately and asked me to come over. When I explained the situation to him, it became pretty obvious what had happened. Are you serious? That's not all. Your dad, livid with what you'd done, messaged the whole family and everyone set to attend the funeral with word of your affair. He did what? He told me I was free to leave the funeral at any time if the stress of everything all got to be too much for me. And to be honest, I was already at breaking point mentally and emotionally. So I took him up on his offer and left halfway through. As for the divorce papers, Nina brought them with her when she let herself into the house. All I did was sign them and hand them over to you. Jesus Christ. This cannot be real. Where's Nina now? She went home. I called her parents after she left and told them about what she'd done, so presumably they're surveilling her at their place now. Um, Gina? Oh, and you'll be paying me compensation. Compensation? I'll be hiring a lawyer in a week or so once I've had the time to rest and get my mind in a better place. You're gonna file for compensation from me while I'm still mourning my mom. Somehow or other, Anton. I feel like using your condolence leave to go on vacation at a hot spa resort with your lover permanently disqualified you from using your mother's death as an excuse to get out of anything. Yeah, but... I also have your dad's full support and back. So I'm fully committed to doing this properly, and I promise I'll be taking you for everything I can. You better not try to escape. It's time to man up and face the consequences of your actions. Um, Gina? Hello, are you there? What do you want? Uh, well I was kinda hoping we could discuss the whole thing with the compensation. I'll be hiring a lawyer over the coming days, so they'll be in contact with you when we've decided on how much you owe me. Well, uh, Gina, you know, I was kinda hoping we could, like, forget about all this? Excuse me? 
please, just think about this for a sec. I didn't know anything about Anton's mom dying or you guys being in the middle of making the preparations for her funeral, right? If I had known, I would have never have done what I did when I did. In a sense, I'm a victim in all this too because Anton lied to me. So yeah, can we just forget all this and move on? You know, let bygones be bygones and all that? You must be crazy if you think I'm just going to forget about what you did to me. Sure, I acknowledge that Anton was in the wrong for not telling you about his mom or the funeral. R right So why can't we just forget about it? Because Anton not filling you in on all the details about his mom and you stealing my husband from me are two completely separate issues. So the compensation is going full steam ahead. You'll be paying me a lot of money, Nina, so I suggest you start rummaging through your piggy bank. Oh my god. What the hell is wrong with you? Have you never heard of the word sympathy before? How about you try having a heart, you insensitive old bag? I have been researching legal stuff online, and I'm pretty sure this counts as ex... Wait, what was it again? Uh, extrem... Extremu... Extremuating circumstances. Extenuating circumstances? It counts as nothing of the sort, and you're tragically deluded if you think otherwise. In what way does not knowing about Anton's mom's funeral expunge you of guilt for the affair? Uh... Not only that, but an affair you intentionally plotted with glee to satisfy some pathetic grudge you held against me since back when we were in high school. And which you willfully and voluntarily sent me tons of evidence of to hurt me as much as possible. How could you think there is any way for you to get off the hook on this one? Well, I... <sighs> Just listen to me. You don't know how difficult my situation is right now. I have always been more of a housework girl, so I haven't had many jobs and don't have much experience working. Correction, I think you mean you've never had any jobs. Just because mommy and daddy reached their wits end with you sponging off them and refused to pay the compensation doesn't mean you're getting out of it. Uh, I can't do this, Gina. I am begging you. Please try to understand. What, did you seriously think I was going to feel any pity for you because you're actually going to have to face the consequences of your actions yourself? Instead of being pulled out of yet another mess by the bank of mommy and daddy? But, but... Obviously not. I'm actually pleased it turned out this way. But I never, never thought this was going to happen. Anyone who goes out of her way to steal another woman's husband should be prepared to lose everything. Gina! I'm not letting you off the hook. And I have zero sympathy for you. I have no intention of going easy on you in court. You will be paying me every cent of the compensation I charge you for. Oh my god! There's no way out this time. You made your bed, now lie in it. After moving out of the in-law's house, my friend kindly let me stay with her for a while. And with that, I finally set to work on hiring a lawyer and kicking off the divorce proceedings. I was convinced Anton would try to resist me at every turn, but to my surprise, he decided to yield to my demands after receiving a stern talking to from his dad. A few days later, I received every cent of the compensation I asked for in one lump sum, and the divorce was finalized. To make matters worse for my wayward ex-husband, Word of him using his condolence leave to go on a lover's vacation got out at his workplace, and he voluntarily resigned to avoid the shame of being fired at the request of his boss. Finally, he was disowned by his dad and kicked out of the house. As for Nina, his partner in crime, after paying me my compensation by taking out a huge loan, she too was disowned by her mom and dad and kicked out onto the streets with nothing but a few dollars and a suitcase with her belongings to her name. There's something kind of poetically romantic about the two lovers of our story getting disowned by their parents and made homeless at the same time, don't you think? Apparently, they started renting a crappy old beat-up apartment in the rough part of town, an area known for its major crackhead and prostitute problem. However, in a sweet irony, it turns out Anton and Nina weren't a very good match for each other after all. Apparently, they started getting into fierce arguments every day. 
and before long, the neighbors, sick of not being able to sleep, reported them to the landlord. It's looking like they're going to be thrown back out on the streets before the end of the month. Kyoto, is now a good time? Oh, hey, Nanae. What's up? There's something really important I want to talk to you about. Sounds serious. Did something happen? Well, yes it did. I think you're going to be super shocked by what I'm about to tell you. So please prepare yourself. Okay, so what's going on? I'm out doing my freelance work at a cafe in a shopping center. And your mom was sat in a seat right behind me until just now. Huh? My mom? We had our backs to each other. It seems like she didn't realize I was behind her at all. That's unusual. It's not like my mom to be out drinking tea in a cafe. So, um, anyway. She was with some guy I didn't recognize. Huh? I overheard them saying all sorts of things. It seemed like the man she was with was her lover. What? Wait, what? What are you talking about? You must be shocked. I couldn't believe it myself. I started recording their conversation as soon as I realized what was going on. I want you to listen to it later. I see. Okay, I will. I am sorry to have messaged you with this kind of thing. But there's no way I could keep it to myself. Don't worry about it. It must have been really unpleasant for you to suddenly find yourself listening to something so awful. I am sorry for my mom's behavior. Don't be silly. You have nothing to apologize for, Kyota. Let's carry on talking about this at the house, okay? Probably gonna have to let my dad know what's going on, too. Right. Okay. Nanae, are you there? Hello. There's a little thing I want to ask you to do for me. Oh? What is it? Well, you see... The week after next, from Thursday until Sunday, would you mind stopping by the house every now and then to check my husband? Your husband? That's right. There's a school reunion being held in my hometown on the Saturday. So I plan on staying with my parents for a little while since they're close by. But, as you know, my parents live a very long way away. Uh, of course. It takes about five hours from here, including changeovers from both the bullet and the regular trains, right? That's right. That's why it makes more sense to stay over at my parents' place. I'd like to have plenty of time to relax while I'm there. I see. So you plan on leaving the Thursday after next, is that right? Don't get me wrong, my husband is quite capable of looking after the house by himself. But I'm probably just worrying too much. But I would be grateful if you could show your face at the house every now and then. Just to check on how he's doing. Oh, and he'll be working as usual on Thursdays and Fridays. So you only need to check him on the evenings on those days. Got it. I do freelance work from home, so I'm fairly flexible when it comes to my schedule. Sure, leave it to me. I want your mind to be at ease. Thank you, Nana. You're such a sweetie. That's okay. Kyota, your mom just messaged me. It's just like I thought. She's planning on going away. From Thursday till Sunday, the week after next, apparently. She asked me to check in on your dad every now and then while she's gone. Hmm. Even while she's away doing... that, she still worries about my dad. Either that, or it's some kind of trick to try to camouflage what she's doing. I don't know anything about that. But I do know that the school reunion she's supposedly going to doesn't exist. I know this must be difficult for you, Kyota. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm pleased you told me. What about your dad? 
You met him at a local restaurant and told him everything, right? Yeah. We're together now, actually. I played him the recording, too. Ugh, your poor dad. How did he take it? Well, you see... Turns out he actually suspected my mom was up to something for a while now. He did? He said he had an inkling something fishy was going on, but was depressed and anxious because he had no evidence. He seemed weirdly relieved when I told him, as if he was finally able to process his feelings. I mean, I guess I kind of understand what he means. I see. Well, if your dad's mind made up, that just leaves one thing. Yeah, you're right. Let's settle this. Yeah. Hey, how are the preparations for your school reunion going? Are you having a good time? Oh, hello, Nana. Uh, yes, I'm having a blast. I am back in the family home, after all. The house might be in my brother's name now, but that's not to say my dad isn't still alive and kicking. There's something so soothing about being back at the house I grew up in. Really? I'm so pleased to hear that. Did you want something? Oh, please forgive me. I messaged you because there's a little something I wanted you to confirm with me. What is it? Am I right in thinking the school reunion's being held tomorrow? Saturday, right? That's right. All of my old friends from high school will be getting together to catch up over some drinks. By the way, and this is just between us ladies, okay? But apparently my first boyfriend, the first boy I ever fell in love with, is coming too! To tell you the truth, I feel a bit giddy. But don't tell Kyoto or my husband about that, will you? <laughs> oh, you're such a minx. Look at you all loved up like a teenage girl. I thought with you being a girl too, you'd understand what it feels like to get giddy over a boy. That's nice. To be honest, I think I'd rather not understand the feelings of someone who cheats on their husband. What? Let's just be straight with each other, shall we? This school reunion of yours never existed, did it? Of course it does! Just like I told you, it's being held in my hometown! It's just, there are a few things that seem more than a little strange to me. For example, when Kyoya asked your husband, he said he had no recollection of you mentioning anything like that. Huh? I did think there was a chance you might just forgot to tell him, though. So, you know how the three houses around your parents' place belong to your old classmates from high school? When we asked him about the reunion, none of them had heard anything about it. We even tracked out some of your other classmates and asked them too. But surprise, surprise, no word of any kind of reunion. How do you explain all of this? Well, um, I... Where are you right now? Um, I already told you, I'm at my parents' house. That's strange, because I'm at your parents' house right now. What? No one here knows anything about you coming home. Uh, uh, admit it. You're not here, are you? Oh, that's right. Uh, no, I'm not there yet. Oh dear, I forgot to tell them. <laughs> I forgot in my head if it wasn't screwed on. Really? I, um, decided on a whim to stop by at a nearby tourist spot on the way. I never planned on coming here originally, so, so I admit this has all been rather careless of me. It appears I surprised you all. But I'm sorry to have troubled you. But would you please stop with these strange accusations that I'm having an affair? People might get the wrong idea. Hmm... I feel guilty if I showed up on the doorstep announced and I was staying out of the blue, even if they are my family. That's why I decided to book a hotel, so I'll be staying there for tonight. 
I'm so sorry for the hassle, but please, could you pass the message on to my family? There are some things that just don't add up, though. What do you mean? Why don't you seem concerned? About the fact that I'm suddenly at your parents' house. Aren't you curious as to why? Well, um... On top of that, you still haven't given me an adequate explanation as to why there's no evidence of this school reunion actually existing. Well, that's, um... Kyota wants to speak to you now. Huh? Kyota? Oh no, you're with Kyota right now? Yes, we're together. What is this? Am I being interrogated? You'll be getting a message from him now. Mom. Um, Kyota. Nanade was saying all sorts of strange things about me just now. Um, I... It's not true. Just ignore her. His name's Takana, right? The guy you're cheating on dad with? What? I won't go into detail, but sure enough, we know everything. It was pretty easy to find out the rest once we knew his name. Takano's the guy you mentioned in your message to Nanae. Your first boyfriend from back in high school, right? You two reignited your old relationship when you were reunited at a school reunion five years ago. You caught wind of him having just divorced his wife. You invited him for a drink and ended up spending the night together in a hotel. After that, when he started getting serious about you, he decided to move to our town where you live with Dad. Captivated by his intensity, you got serious about him too. And you resolved to use Dad's impending retirement as your opportunity to file for a divorce. You planned on coming up with some nonsensical reasons to justify the divorce so that you couldn't be held legally responsible. And we're getting ready to take half of Dad's stuff including his pension in alimony. Then marry Takano so the two of you could live happily ever after. Does that sound more or less accurate? Um... Feel free to correct me if I got anything wrong. But let me make one thing clear. That is not mere guesswork or speculation. How on earth? Listen up, Mom. Remember that time you met Takano for a coffee at that cafe inside the shopping center a little while back? While you were sat and merrily chatting away, a certain acquaintance of yours was sat with their back to you in the seat directly behind you. What? That person heard everything, from the two of you reminiscing with delight over being reunited, all the way up until the situation between the two of you today. Including your little scheme to try and steal Dad's retirement money, among other things. They recorded everything, from start to finish, and handed it over to me as proof. We did some further research based on the recording, and that's how we know what we know now. What? Someone recorded us? Who was it? That's not important. By the way, as for Dad's retirement next week, that pension money you've got in your crosshairs will be getting paid into a different bank account to the one his salary goes to every month which means you won't be able to get your greedy hands on it. Huh. I guess you could call it Dad trusting his gut. It's not necessarily that he had any evidence you were doing what you were doing. Somehow or other, he felt like having his retirement fund paid into a separate bank account would be the right thing to do, and it looks like he was right. No way! There's one more important thing I've got to tell you. The proceedings for your divorce with Dad are already well underway. What? You already had some divorce papers with your signature on it stashed away in the drawer in your dresser, didn't you? How did you know about? We found them while we were getting your belongings together. What? My belongings? Here's a message from Dad. What the hell are you playing at? Think you'd do something like this at your age? I don't need a wife who cheats on me. Looks like you already had the divorce papers ready. So I did you a favor and took them down to the registration office. However, I fully intend on extracting as much compensation as I can out of you and Takano. Goodbye. Please, wait. 
We got all your belongings together and had them dropped off of your parents' house. What? We went out of our way to run a moving van and have them taken there for you. Why would you do such a thing? Isn't it obvious? You're divorced now, which means you have nowhere else to go but your parents' place, right? The house belongs to Dad, after all. You have no right to go doing that without my permission! Right? Permission? You lost any claim to those things when you decided to cheat on Dad. Besides, weren't you the one planning to file for divorce? All Dad did was put his signature next to yours on the papers you already had. What's the problem? Shouldn't you be pleased? No, you've got this all wrong! It's not like that! Anyway, Dad asked me to tell you to only contact him through his lawyer from now on. His lawyer? As for me and Nanae, we don't really feel like speaking to you ever again. Wait, Yota! It turned out my mother-in-law was in the middle of a lover's holiday at a famous tourist spot near her parents' place. Two hours after the last message, she turned up at her old house where Kyota's dad was and frantically rang the doorbell. Apparently, my stepdad completely ignored her, at which point she went to mine in Kyoto's house. However, since me and him stayed the night at a hotel on the way back from his parents' house, we didn't end up seeing her. And then my mother-in-law was forced to pay compensation to my dad, but her lover who had used his entire pension to cover it was furious with her and their relationship fell apart. This is all your fault, he said. She didn't like the idea of having to go back to live with her parents either. Now she's living in a cheap rundown apartment, a little way away from her hometown, working like a dog to pay the compensation she owes to my stepdad. Up until this whole affair, she'd been a stay-at-home wife this whole time. As such, she probably would have never imagined she'd end up spending what should have been her retirement years working to exhaustion.